Welcome to another video. Today I am spinning up a coarse spun art yarn on my Country 2 spinner. Here you can see I am using the fibre to spin around a yarn that I've actually bought from a shop. So nothing I'm particularly going to use. Something that grips the fibre onto the um, onto the actual yarn and then it stays on there and this is what they call a coarse spun yarn as you have a core running through the middle of your fibre I love doing these because you get extra chunky wool without having to spin it all up and use a lot more fibre by wrapping it round the inner core it is a lot less fibre used but it's nice and chunky and thick the perfect art yarn as you can see here just spinning around and what I have done is I had made quite a few bats in the past of lots of botany lap waste and some of the colours were okay but there was nothing I particularly liked so I thought I know I'll put them all in one great big ginormous yarn which I yet hadn't tried on this country spinner so I thought I'd give it a go and fill up the entire bobbin so I used one art bat after another and just spun away and here's a close-up of me spinning onto the yarn again. You can see it wraps lovely round that core. Nearly finished there, tiny bit more to go. And here I'm adding some recycled sari silk. So in this particular yarn, not only did we have the art bats, we had different coloured wool locks, some I dyed myself. We had sari silk, sari ribbon, um, nylon, all sorts of bits I got my hands on to make it a really fun and textured yarn. I particularly like spinning the sari silk because it's full of so much beautiful colour, which you should see in a minute. So I'm spinning it up here. Spinning away. <laughs> I do love a bit of spinning, can you tell? <laughs> Nearly done with this piece as well. There we go, and that's what it looks like, as you can see full of beautiful colour and it's really silky smooth and soft. And here is the finished yarn on the gigantic bobbin. I was meant to weigh the yarn, I can't, so I'll have to put down below how much it actually weighed in the end because it's actually huge and because it's coarse spun it's got a lot of twist to it so that's me comparing it to a normal sized bobbin that I spin on and it has a lot of twist to it so I kept it on this huge bod bobbin for a week or I decided to wrap it round and make it into a ball of wool. That was me doing it around some very wobbly chairs. <laughs> and here's the end result. It's lovely. I'm really pleased with it. It reminds me of paintings by Monet with all the different colours. Um, I really do like it actually. Rather than just spinning it up as individual balls of wool, which have been fairly boring, I think this is really great. It's got lots of colour and texture to it. As it happened, spinning winding it around the chairs did not work very well so I've had to wind it into a ball and here it is it's absolutely huge it's probably the size of a football so comments down below please as I don't know what quite what to do with it whether I weave it knit it crochet it mm, I don't know comments below please and there is the final ball of wool <laughs> 